Hey guys, uh, sorry I haven't posted anything in a week. Um, it's been uh, it's been a busy busy few days. I just spent the last uh, three uh, days helping a really good friend move. Uh, I'm sore, um, but uh, grateful that we were able to to get her into her new place. Uh, I do have uh, an update on the van build or the ambulance build uh, coming here in the next day or so. I just got to kind of edit a couple things, but I wanted to get something up. Uh, so today I want to talk about showering and uh, what you do when you're living van life. You know, how do you stay, you know, good hygiene, stuff like that. Uh, well, um, first of all, I'm hoping to put a shower into my new uh, build. However, I don't think I'm going to really be using it a lot because it's a pain in the butt to get rid of the gray water and things along those lines. Most of us that are living the van life, we typically use showers at various locations. Uh, what I do personally, I have a Planet Fitness uh, membership. Uh, it's 25 bucks a month for the, the black card. Uh, and it gives you access to all of the Planet Fitness locations uh, uh, across the country, uh, and they are all over. Um, plus, with the black card, you get access to free tanning, uh, massage chairs, hydro massage chairs, uh, and some other really cool things. So like last night, uh, after I spent the entire day moving my friend, uh, I drove a little bit to get to a nice spot uh, along, you know, the beach where it was cooler. Uh, and then um, before I, I, you know, called it a night, stopped by Planet Fitness. I took a great long shower, hot, and then I had a massage. I almost fell asleep in the chair. It was nice. Um, some other options, uh, truck stops. Uh, if you are on the road and there are no Planet Fitness or, you know, whatever uh, gym you potentially uh, join, uh, trucking uh, locations are great. The showers are a little bit more expensive, but typically the um, area is really nice. You get a very large um, space uh, all to yourself that's locked. Uh, there is a timer, so you can't take the longest shower in the world, uh, but you definitely can get clean and uh, you know feel really nice afterwards. Uh, so those are some ways uh, that you can uh, use showers. If you don't have access to a shower, say you're boondocking, uh, you know, baby wipes uh, work really, really well. I uh, will be definitely bringing some of those uh, with me to the desert here in a few weeks uh, just to kind of stay clean, get the dust off of you, uh, things along those lines. Uh, but if you have those, make sure that you think of a way to dispose them. Um, don't put them down uh, pit toilets or uh, things or porta potties uh, because uh, they will um, cause damage in the long run. Uh, and we want to make sure that we're, you know, taking care of the places that we visit uh, so that they're the, around for us to come back. Okay, guys. Well, I got to go. Um, I am actually working uh, today out of my uh, truck uh, and, uh, you know, trying to get some stuff done. Uh, but uh, I will catch you all later.